We're about to embark on a collaborative storytelling adventure. Since we may be strangers, it's important to anonymously flag any hot-button topics for us to avoid. This exercise will only take a few minutes and involves a deck of cards with common hot buttons and several Anything Goes cards. It's important for this process to be anonymous, so if you are an Anything Goes type of player, do not call this out as it defeats the purpose of this being anonymous. So please silently review all the cards in the deck, select any topics you want excluded from our game, Everyone must turn in at least one card, even if it's just an Anything Goes card. Keep your cards face down and pass the deck to the player next to you. I'll come around to collect the cards. We'll review any hot button topics that are off limits for this game and get rolling. For any identified hot buttons, the topic is to be avoided in game as well as by us as we are playing the game. For example, if the swearing card is turned in, swearing should be avoided by our characters in the game and by all of us while playing. If a specific hot button topic you're looking for isn't in the deck, someone has already chosen this, that card. Also, certain hotter than hot button topics don't appear on the cards as they are excluded. So what you're seeing button. here is me using the deck of player safety with one of my home games. Many thanks to my players for their tolerance, patience, and feedback for my play tests with them. Additionally, I play tested the deck of player safety with many complete strangers during organized play. Of course, my players were supportive of my idea, but I was most pleasantly surprised by complete strangers telling me how much they appreciated me implementing this tool before our gaming session. The fact that this is my home game means they are well versed in the process, but you can see in this video, even including the introductory paragraph that I read aloud to them, the whole process took under three and a half minutes. For a convention or organized play table with strangers, Plan on up to five minutes if they've never used the deck of player safety before. And of course, it depends on the number of players at your table. Here, I've read the instructional paragraph to my players from the deck of player safety website, which is accessed by a QR code on the back of the card deck box. There are also eight player instruction cards in the deck having a different QR code, taking them to a YouTube video of me reading the instructions. So you have the option of reading the instructions to your players as a group, or directing them to the YouTube video instead. Once the players have selected their cards, don't look at them. Collect them, shuffle them, then review them with the players so everyone can look out for hot button topics and call them out should they arise. And in the event a drawn hot button impacts your game, the Deck of Player Safety website has suggested substitutions to adjust on the fly, yet minimally impact your storytelling. So for tonight's game, um, we will avoid subject of human trafficking, any drug or substance abuse. We have a couple of Anything Goes cards, children in distress, as well as terminal illness and another Anything Goes. So please keep in mind that those topics are out of uh, tonight's session. And uh, with that in mind, let's get playing. All right.